everybody, it's October 12th. Um, we're in the evening here now. Just gonna feed the cows. Uh, we're at the bags here. Um, and what we got, I got a chopper box here. We had some haylage left off that field that didn't fit in the bag. So we chopped, green chopped some of that. And I'm gonna feed that to the cows. But we're also gonna open this one bag, the last bag we did that had corn silage and haylage in it. Now normally I wouldn't open this bag right away. I'd start with some of the stuff that we did first, uh, just because it would already be fermented more. It'd be a, probably a little bit better feed. But this has been in here a few days now. It, it should be fermenting pretty good. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because this bag, you can't really see it very well now, but on this end where we started, where the backstop was, uh, when that backstop was giving us trouble, it was starting to tip back. And we got it straightened up, but we wound up uh, ripping a hole in the bottom of the bag. So that's gonna probably lead to some spoilage if we leave it too long. So I'm gonna open that and just start feeding out of it right away. The other reason is there's hay on the other end. Once this green chop stuff is gone, I'm gonna open that in and start feeding out of there, feeding it from both ends because I can use the hay too, so I'll just mix it. Um, so that's kind of why I'm starting here first. Otherwise, I would probably start with the pasture silo or something like that. So um, anyway, that's what we're gonna do now. We'll get this opened up, see if we can get a little shot of kind of what this stuff looks like. My brother Paul, he's bringing the skid steer over. We're gonna run some of the haylage out of this chopper box into the skid steer, and then he'll dump that in the feeder wagon, and then we'll scoop some corn silage out of the bag for now and mix them both kind of that way. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do like three scoops of this and three scoops of the corn maybe, or kind of see how it loads up in there. take a little bit to get that to the front because it kind of blew to the middle of the wagon.
animals are like, come on, hurry up, feed us. pile in there. I'll, have to need some, I'll need some again for in the morning so we won't put it all in there tonight. I gotta put the corn head on the chopper and finish off tomorrow I think finish off that corn of my grandpa's for Johnny so I didn't want to have to try to chop again tomorrow and swap heads back and forth right away so. We're not gonna cut too big of an opening to start with because this stuff is chopped so fine. That stuff is nice. Very nice looking feed. All right, I gotta put the phone down and load some of this. Boy, that stuff is chopped nice. It just flows like green. Nice and fermented too, really smells good. they can feast. Today, so uh, we're trying to 
trying to park the wagon so the wind's not blowing it all over us. All right, we're here at the bag again. Um, daytime now, so maybe see a little bit better at this stuff, but boy, it's nice. Fermented nice. Kernels are nice and soft. Just break them right open. Yes, that's very nice feed. Very impressed, very happy with that chopper compared to them. I mean, like I said, the Gale was a good chopper but it never, uh, if I would have had a recutter screen in it, you know, it would have been different, but that's a lot of extra messing around too. But this is uh, really nice. So bring this out for the cows and go see if we can chop the rest of that for Johnny. They know what's in there. We got just under two inches of rain a couple nights ago, so now they find plenty of mud holes to go stand in. And I heard now they're talking a couple chances of some light snow later in the week, so. So after this corn is done, we're gonna hit that manure system now. I've actually got um, pipe ordered, should be here this week now, so I found a Actually, the guy I got the second silage bag from, he does excavating and stuff, and he was able to get it for me, so I don't even have to drive very far to get it, so that'll be nice. Take a look at this mix here. We put that, I still got some of that green chop in that wagon yet that we that didn't fit in the bag. Oh yeah, that's nice. That should make some milk. Oops, bumped my phone. Go ahead, I won't block you anymore. All right, we got the corn head back on. We're gonna run out and uh, chop that off for Johnny. Okay, Justin, Jordan, and I are out here at Alan's grandpa's hay field. He's not going to cut it again for hay, so he told us we could fence it off for the drag cows and heifers. And originally, this whole thing was fenced all the way up to those trees right there. But until that corn's finished getting chopped, I'm just going to go from this corner post across. So at least they can get out here and get on some grass, because they are really woofing down the hay out there. So, that's our project today, right boys? Uh-huh. You guys are goofy. Hmm. Ah, what? rusty barbed wire. Farmer's tetanus shot. What in the heck does Alan have going on here? I don't know. So while I'm fencing, Alan is way out there chopping the last of his grandpa's corn for Johnny. October 14th, just after noon. Um, 
pretty dreary today, rainy and kind of cold. But we're going to start, uh, well as we already did start a few days ago, we hauled a few loads out of the lagoon here. Uh, but with chopping and everything, we weren't able to hit it real hard. So now that that's done, uh, we're going to get this empty. Sounds like I'm hoping that that pipe will come maybe tomorrow. I think he said he gets deliveries on Thursday. So if that shows up, Connor said we can start digging that line in this weekend. So I need to get this emptied so we can open that pipe up and it's not going to drain back on us. Plus, the guy I rent the tanker and uh, pump from, he needs that back anyway. Usually October he empties his down. So um, we're going to start hitting that now um, and see if we can get this empty. So I'm going to let this 830 warm up. I got it on this agitator. Um, it's a pretty good load on this tractor when you're really stirring, but I got to keep an eye on the temperature a little bit, but it's a little cooler today, so I think it'll work all right, but we're going to give it a try here once this warms up a little. There he goes off with a load there. I got it stirred up pretty good now, so this is pretty watery. Well, it was before, and then we got, um, like I said, we got that couple inches of rain, so that really watered it down. So I don't have to stir it too much, but. October 15th sun is shining but it's cold I think it's about 32 right now sounds like it's supposed to be like this well the rest of the week they're actually talking maybe some accumulating snow later this week so definitely glad we got the corn off now we just got to get that manure system done I'm hoping he calls today that that pipe is in I think Thursdays is when he gets deliveries in so um, Jessica and Jen, they just got back this morning. They were out on deer stand. Jessica's old enough this year to do the youth uh, deer hunt, so they went out this morning. I gotta open the gate here for Paul. He's bringing silage out for the dry cows. Um, so they saw five, but it was it was too early, too dark yet to, to take a shot, so. But anyway, so they got back from that. They're in warming up. So we are going to bring this feeder rag and Paul's got that out. Dry cows clean up. Then we'll uh, silage the milk cows. We hauled, tanked a bunch of manure out last night uh, until it was getting hard to see. And then, so we'll go and finish that today and uh, get started with that project. fence again for the drag cows and heifers but I'm getting this really eerie feeling that I'm being watched.
starting to get empty now. It's starting to pull a little air, so I imagine another couple loads will probably be about all we'll get out of there. You get this one full. I didn't get any filming of spreading yesterday, but uh, I'll try to get some today. Got a couple loads left. Must be about empty. 